decreasing hospital readmission in ileostomy patients. Ileostomy patients are known to have high rates of complications. One of these complications is hospital readmission within 30 days. In the literature and at our institution, ileostomy readmission rates range from 17 to 36 percent. We found this to be unacceptably high, and this was the catalyst for our ileostomy pilot program. In the program, patients were actively engaged in their education and taking care of their stomas, as well as a set of discharge orders were vetted with a home health agency to partner with us in order to have a standardized discharge protocol. The protocol was essentially a de-escalation model with a lot of attention in the first week, three to five visits and a phone call at home with gradual de-escalation um, over the course of the protocol, which entailed four weeks. By the end of the fourth week, the patient should be almost independent with maybe one phone call as needed. In the protocol, there were triggers, such as vital sign uh, derangements that would then trigger a phone call to the surgeon's office so that uh, a measure could be taken. Such measures included IV fluid hydration, um, increase in um, antidiarrheal medication, or anything else that needed to be done. Labs could be drawn at home, and the patient could receive IV fluids um, if dehydration was found to be a problem. And so our analysis showed that with the implementation of this pilot program, we had a decrease in our ileostomy rate, as shown in the graphs. Essentially, um, because of this um, higher acuity of care in the beginning of the protocol, we were able to decrease the ileostomy readmission rate. And so in conclusion, you'll note that um, involvement of home health agency was not enough. It was not until the directed protocol, um, the standardized orders, were in place that we saw this decrease in readmission.